welcome to the fifth part in the math node series. Today we're going to be looking at the trigonometric functions. So I've prepared something again on Desmos. So the sine is um, it's a wave which goes up, up and down. And if we multiply by pi here, we can make it so that the period becomes this a value. So for example, if I said a to 1, you can see that um, it comes back at 1, so it hits the x-axis every time at 1, 2, 3, and so forth. But we can also then multiply by 2 to make it so that it makes one complete cycle every uh, 8 times. Then the next one is the cosine. And let me remove this too. The cosine is just the same as the sine except that it's shifted. So you can see. And then um, there's also something called the arc sine. And what that does, it takes the inverse of the sine. So um, let me just change this to sine of x. As you can see, it's flipping it around. Um, this line, the diagonal, which is the same as taking the inverse, but because functions are only defined if they have one value for every x, um, you can't keep on continuing, and so it only goes from minus pi divided by 2 to pi over 2, which is the same as minus 90 degrees to 90 degrees. And you can see if I take the arc sine of sine of x, or the other way around, the sine of the arc sine of x, they, it's just the same as if we had y is equal to x. So that's how you can see it's the inverse. And then an important one is the tangent of x, and that is the sine divided by the cosine. And it looks something like this. So as you can see, every time it goes to minus 90 degrees or plus 90 degrees, it goes off to infinity and so if this is like a right angle triangle we have a right angle there then the tangent is going to take um, the opposite side over the adjacent side so once you go to 90 degrees the opposite uh, the adjacent side is actually zero and that's why dividing by zero makes it go to infinity. And then the inverse of the tangent is called arc tangent. And it looks like this. So it's bounded between minus 90 degrees and plus 90 degrees. And this is really important because when we go to Blender, as you can see, it's going to do the same thing here. So this angle is going from minus 90 to plus 90. And then again from minus 90 to plus 90. Well, usually what you want is you want it to go from 0 to 360 degrees. So that's why this arc tangent 2 is there, which does exactly that. And as you can see, this one goes from 0 to minus pi over 2. I can put in this one here and then unmute it. So at this point, it's this one is here. It's minus 180 degrees, and this one is plus 180 degrees. So you can see if I increase it, it goes the full way around, all with the other one. It only does half of the thing and then repeats it. So we'll be using the arc tangent too for some formulas because it's useful to get an angle based on Cartesian coordinates. And we can use the sine as well, just like we use the ceiling and, f and fraction to repeat a pattern.